Welcome back to day two of our open source bridge coverage. Right now, I'm joined by Rick Tarosi, who is the marketing lead for the Open Source Bridge Conference. Hello. Have you worked on an all-volunteer run conference of this size before? No. This is uh, one I've worked on a lot uh, as part of my job. Worked mm-hmm. on a lot of conferences, but this is the first time I've been uh, fortunate enough to do it with a whole volunteer group, and it's re- and something of this size pulled off with volunteers is is pretty staggering. Um, when yeah. you think about it. I mean, it's a big, it's a big conference, yeah, and um, a lot of people put a great deal of time into making it happen. Just much like open source, just because they wanted to. Mm-hmm. So, how many people? Uh, how big was the core group? I mean, we've got volunteers running amok here. We there are more volunteers. Every time you turn around, right. there's someone there to help you, and someone there that's making sure everything's getting done. But how? What was the core group like? The core group. Um, there, there are three people on the board that mm-hmm. are the official open source foundation, open source bridge foundation. That, that? that so that's Jake, Selena, and Audrey. Okay. Um, and I think you know Selena and Audrey flipped a coin over who had to be president, and Selena wound up winning the the coin toss. But uh, so. They are really the core of the foundation, and then there were probably, uh, you know, anywhere between five and ten other people that kind of floated in and out throughout the course of the event. Um, I was I was there pretty consistently. Uh, Adam Devander uh, was leading up the tech stuff. Uh, this, uh, you know, the one person who probably did more to make this conference happen and and has really kind of you know as his, as is his way has kind of faded back a little bit is Reed Beals. And, he does have and, a tendency yeah, to and without Reed like we would not be where we are today. He would he did so much work on everything from outreach to I mean the the logo and the identity system and everything is all Reed's work, all the web stuff. Um, you know, he was uh, egal led development on mm-hmm. Open Conferenceware, but Reed was like the second, you know, the second biggest contributor to that whole thing. So, um, so he was elbow deep in code, but yesterday morning he was still running around with papers, putting them up and yeah. getting them ready. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he's the like he and and I. You know, he deserves all the credit in the world for the things he was able to do, and and he's just he's really talented, and we're really lucky to have him working on this stuff. Thank you, Reed. Thank you, Reed. <laughs> uh, do you think this is going to happen again? I do. Um, you know, they it, we're getting a lot of good feedback from people, and um, it which is great. Um, I think it, we had always, when this idea began back at, you know, Selena and Audrey had been talking about this for a long time, but when it finally kind of codified itself was a, a side project to start up, mm-hmm. which was a kind of a bar camp like thing we did um, a few months back, probably about nine months back, maybe mm-hmm. 12 months. But um, I think it was the beginning of fall. Yeah, yeah. At that point, it really, it, yeah. when it really kind of came together, it was des- designed to be an annual thing. I mean, it wasn't this kind of one shot. And throughout the throughout the whole development of the conference, we, we paid very close attention to not only what would make this an amazing conference the first year, but what would um, help us continue to and make it a good conference and, and, and yeah, and grow uh, year over year. So you know, things like having you guys here, having Hockley here to shoot photos of people, um, you know, having uh, you know the media here to kind of cover what's going on at the event, all of that stuff. It, having it, you know, having the streaming mm-hmm. things like that, all really important not only to the conference today, but on Saturday when we begin planning for OS Bridge. 10, you know, uh, 2010, then that all that stuff's going to come into play. That's so part of that that's effort. what you guys are doing Saturday? Yeah, I think so. That We'll get started on that right away. Because none of us need any rest or anything. No. no. You guys don't really have a lot on your plates no. individually or uh, as a group. Right. No. Right. Yeah. So I take for granted, I just said, hey, it's Rick Tarosi. But uh, where can we find you on Twitter and on the internet? Uh, on Twitter, I'm Tarosi, T-U-R-O-C-Z-Y. And uh, on the interwebs, I write a blog called Silicon Florist that covers Portland startups and events and open sourcey kind of stuff. Well, Rick, thank you so much for joining us. It's Absolutely. always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you.